morning everyone, it's Joel here. Welcome to today's daily pattern. Today we are in Genesis chapter four and we get the story of Cain and Abel, these two brothers. And then Cain gives God an offering of some fruits of the soil. And then Abel gives God an offering of fat portions. And it says some of the firstborn of his flocks. So one offering is okay, the other one is generous. And it says that God looked with favour on Abel's offering, on the, genesis, on the generous offering. Um, and that upset Cain that his offering wasn't looked on with such favour. And he got so upset by that that he actually killed his brother. So just look at this. He makes an offering that isn't that generous. His brother makes a much more generous one and God loves that. And then he isn't generous to his brother. He actually like kills him because of his competitive nature and his stinginess and then um, it's just a reminder really that as Christians we're called to be generous I've never met a generous person who isn't happy who isn't joyful who doesn't know peace in their lives I had one friend who was so generous like you almost had to sort of fight him to let me ever pay for anything that, 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 that we did together and then um, he had this generous spirit and I've actually seen him in, in various different settings excel and do really well and get great leadership opportunities. And um, I think it's down to having a generous spirit. So I suppose my question really is, how could you be generous today? What would it like to be generous with your smiles? As you saw people across the road to smile and wave, because a smile can change someone's day. What about being generous with your time? Or generous with your influence? taking what you have and not just climbing the ladder yourself, but in lifting up other people. What if you were generous with your money or you were generous with your thanks? You know, an encouraging word can change someone's day. It can actually change the course of someone's life. Who could you be generous with your words to today? Who could you send a text to or a Facebook message or a WhatsApp or write a card to, to be generous? Or how could you be generous with the gifts you have? How could I say, oh, I've got this gift, I've got this family, or this car, or this musical instrument, or this uh, ability. How can I share that and be generous? You see, as if we don't, we end up stuck, a bit like Cain, stuck in comparison, stuck looking at everyone else, trying to get by with the most meager generosity, when God calls us to a bigger life. How could you be generous today? How could you give your best today? What could you do to make people look at you and think, there's something about that person, they are so generous. Because when we're that kind, that generous, people see something of our generous God. Have a great day.